In this video I'll be showing one approach for triggering a business process managed in IBM Workflow directly from customer interaction. Essentially we're connecting our customers to our previously internal business processes. So why might we want to do this? We could be improving our customer service offerings by giving customers new ways to do business with us. Um, we want our new services to be available even when the office is shut so using channels readily available to our customers like voice, SMS or chat. We want to automate where appropriate to increase our efficiency or allow us to deploy knowledge workers where it really matters. And by running our business process on a workflow platform we instantly get access to metrics and KPIs so we can measure our performance and hopefully improve it. So what we're going to see is a hypothetical customer interaction at an imaginary utilities company. We'll combine a chat interface with Watson Assistant to provide an automated chatbot. The chatbot will gather data we need to start the business process in workflow so we can manage the end-to-end -end process. And finally we'll see some real-time dashboards driven from the data flowing through the workflow. Just before we get into the demo let's provide an overview. The customer will initiate the business process using Facebook chat there's nothing the customer needs to install they just come to our Facebook page and start a conversation with us. We'll use Watson Assistant to run the dialogue interpreting what the customer is saying and prompting them for additional information when needed. Once Watson Assistant has gathered the information we need it will trigger a workflow. The workflow we are triggering is part of an incident reporting function which enables customers to report problems with water supply, drains or other things they've spotted. Once the incident workflow is started it will be routed to a customer services agent for initial assessment. It will then be routed to the appropriate team for review. Between these two steps the system will use an external API to enrich the location information we took from the customer to pinpoint the incident. With workflow we can attach SLAs to the activities escalation steps that are activated if the process has been waiting too long or define what should happen if something goes wrong. As well as human activities we could call other systems to fetch or update data or trigger RPA robots to do work. If we needed to apply some complex logic to make a decision we could call out some external business logic. To finish off the demo we'll see a customized dashboard update as a result of the workflow being executed. It's in this dashboard that any metrics we were tracking or calculated would be exposed. OK, so we're starting in Process Portal inside uh, Workflow and we can see that there's no active tasks uh, in my inbox relating to incident management. Now, feeding off the back of Workflow, we have um, these real-time dashboards and we can see that in terms of my incident management solution, um, I've already got some incidents in the system, some relate to water leaks, some relate to drains, some relate to covers and we can see the incidents plotted on this map and if I zoom in we can see we've got a bit of a uh, bright spot around here where I've been creating incidents but we've got a few incidents scattered around the country and we can see they're broken down here we've got a total of nine, there's three leaks, one cover issue and five drain issues and I can see this is a summary of all the, the incidents uh, in the system. So um, we don't appear to have anything uh, in the, the Manchester um, area. Let's trigger something now. Okay, so I come onto the um, Facebook page of my utility company and I'm going to trigger some, some messenger chat. So, uh, hello! And the system will, will respond and this dialogue is coming from Watson Assistant. Uh, so let's say uh, there's a big leak. Okay, and uh, system's now asking me to provide some information about the leak. I'm going to say it's uh, in the road. Okay, so it's a leak in a public place. Um, the system's asking for the, the location of the incident. So Let's go for um, 286 Ashton New Road, which I believe is a fish and chip shop. And it's a fish and chip shop um, outside of a football ground, I believe. Okay, 
Um, well, I was eating my chips after the match, and boom, there we go. Okay, so that's the, the, the dialogue concluded, and we can see that the system has triggered incident 1256. So back in workflow, we can now see that we've got this incident 1256. So Watson Assistant has gathered the details <coughs> and has added that information into a workflow. So we've now captured the information. Now we can manage it properly. We can view it, prioritize it. We can do whatever we need to do. We can get back in touch with the customer, etc. Um, but in this particular task, what's going to happen when I click the OK button is um, that the, the incident's accepted into the system. It's going to do some enrichment. It's actually going to look up the um, geolocation uh, of, of this address and add it into the record for the next task. So when it comes to the next person in the workflow chain, we can see we've got this leak uh, review. We can see that it's actually added in the, the geolocation um, just using the address. And we can see this person here has a handy uh, view of the, the dashboard. Um, so they can actually correlate this, this leak with, with perhaps some other leaks that they're seeing in the other area. So this is just a view of the um, Kibana dashboard for, for leaks. Uh, we can see we've got that leak there. Um, and obviously over in the main uh, dashboard, uh, I haven't clicked refresh yet, but if I click refresh, we see now that we've now got one more leak appearing in Manchester. Uh, we'll have the record of that down here. And we can go into the details of this. Uh, yeah, there I was eating my chips and boom. Hopefully this video has given you a flavor of how intelligent workflow can be triggered from customer interactions. Workflow can seamlessly manage with the work of humans, systems and robots participating in a business process. By doing this, we can capture the key performance metrics that matter to our business and identify problems and opportunities for improvement. As Peter Drucker, the famous management consultant, once said, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it.